Now slightly bend your knee and then tilt forward. Push your butt backward. Place your hands onto your floating ribs where the kidney area is. And then you're going to massage up and down, down all the way down to the sacrum bone and up to your middle back slowly and then breathe in deeply inhale and exhale just follow your own rhythm of breathing 30 times And feel the area that you're massaging is warming up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now stand straight and then place your palms to your lower back area and gently pat on your lower belly. And again, we're creating vibration here to help with the digestion. 30 times. Go a little bit slower. Make sure your breathing, your body is relaxed, deep breathing in and to breathe out. So the key for Qigong is your breathing and relaxing your body. And every inhale, you breathe deep into your Dantian. Gumei, you want to join us? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Now, we're going to place our hands back to our back area where the kidneys are. And then you're going to roll your hips clockwise slowly 10 times. Explore the fullest range of motion of your hips. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now roll counterclockwise. One, two, three, four. We keep pushing your hips more forward. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So now we're going to move to the next, which is moving the spine. Um, the first one, do you guys still remember? Back and forth. <laughs> okay, so open your feet wider than your shoulders and pointing the toes 45 degrees out slightly bend your knee okay and then remember the hands inhale we're gonna send your hand forward push your hips backward head down and exhale open your palms to the sky send your knees forward your hips forward lift your chest and head back and then turn your palms again, inhale, and exhale. So you're creating an S shape with your spine. And inhale, head down, and exhale up. Sorry, exhale down. So a lot of the Qigo movement, it's mimicking the nature. Like the other day that um, Chloe said, you know, we're creating waves with your body. So in order to do that, you have to relax every part of the body. Exhale down. 
Inhale. And my legs are moving as well. So when you go down, you're rounding your spine. And I'm coming up. If you find it too challenging to go all the way down, then you can just um, do a smaller range of motion. So instead of going all the way down, you can bring your feet a little bit closer and then just very gently move your spine up and down, back and forth. Okay, we'll do five more. Two more. By now you should feel your spine is warming up. Okay, one more. Coming up and place your palms to your navel area. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, breathe out through the mouth. <sighs> All right, what's the second one? You know, remember? And that one could be, oh, we're going to, um, I like to do the twist, the second. So remember, have your feet about shoulder or a little bit wider than the shoulders, toes pointing forward, and then we're going to swing from left to right. And remember where your hands are touching. So when you swing to one side, one hand is touching the shoulder, the other hand is touch the meridian at the back. It's a parallel. It's a um, if you use your hand, put your put your both of your fingers onto your navel and then draw a line where the two fingers meet. That's your meridian, the gate of life meridian. Okay. So inhale, twist to one side. Exhale, twist to the other side, and do it fifty times. And remember the feet, lifting one feet off. This will help to activate your kidney channels and your bladder channels. So try not to shift your body weight from left to right too much, but instead you're twisting your spine. Let's do 10 more. Last two. All right, stop. Now bring your palms onto your navel chakra. Take a deep inhale. And exhale through the mouth. The next one. Chloe, you want to teach us? <laughs> okay, so for people who are more flexible in your hips, you can open your legs wider. Otherwise, um, keep it slightly wider than the shoulders. And then opening your toes 45 degrees to the side. So we did the back and forth, and we did the twisting left to right. Now we're going to move our spine on the same plane left to right, okay? Take a deep inhale, and you're gonna move your arms to the right, reach to the left, and to the right. You can choose to turn your head to look at left or right when you move your arms, but if it's too much for you to coordinate, then you can keep your face looking forward. Like Chloe said, we're creating a wave. A 
following your breaths. So instead of, um, some of you are really moving, shift, trying to move your upper back and the shoulder area to, to, to make the movement, but instead the movement should come from your hips, okay? The action comes from the hips. So bend your knees when you swim to one side and bend your other right knee when you go to the right side. Deep inhale and exhale. And I feel the stretch. Sometimes I like to exaggerate. So when I go to one side, I kind of just use my hand to massage the side of my body. A few more. And try to move your head swing from side to side. And you should feel the energy going directly to the crown chakra, to the top of your head. And I can feel that my nose is clearing up. <laughs> okay, two more. All right, come back to the center. So when you come back for this posture, slowly bring the waves, um, create smaller and smaller and smaller waves. And then come back to stillness. Bring your hands on top of your navel. Deep inhale. And exhale. All right, one more for the spine. So after this, you should feel your spine is pretty opened. Um, Bring your feet at about hip width apart. Interlock your fingers. Take a deep inhale, palms up. Stretch and then bring it down. Remember the 70% rule? Okay, now we're gonna shift our hips from left to right, right to left. Keep your knees straight. Knees straight, only shifting the hips. And now focus on the sacrum area. And slowly, vertebra by vertebra, you're gonna bring your attention up to the spine. To the middle back. To the upper back. To the neck. And to the head. Okay. Last one, we're gonna inhale, reach up high. And exhale, release the palms. <sighs> Slowly bring your palms to the navel. Inhale, and exhale. <sighs> That's for the spine. And the next one for the lung. Go miss this one, you asked me for it. So, this one is great for clearing your lungs or clearing or get rid of the dampness in your body. Oh, Bring nice. your feet at about uh, shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward. And bring your palms in front of your shoulders. You can squeeze your um, elbows a little bit and then tiger prawn, uh, tiger claw, <laughs> <laughs> tiger prawn. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> take a deep inhale, bend your knees, take a deep inhale, and exhale, we're going to push our hands forward and your head come down, ha, <laughs> inhale, open up your arms to the side, palms facing outward, and you're going to come onto your toes, if this is too wide of the stand, bring your, bring your feet a little bit closer, so about hip width apart, okay, so when you come up, you're going to lift your heels off the floor, Head slightly upward and exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So when you go down, keep your back straight. 
Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Ha. <sighs> <sighs> Seven. Ha. <sighs> Eight. Ha. <sighs> Nine. We'll do twenty. Ha. <sighs> Ten. Ha. <sighs> when you come up, lift your chest up, head up. Ha. <sighs> Inhale. Ha. 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 Thirteen. Ha. Ha. Fourteen. Ha. Fifteen. Ha. Sixteen. Ha. Seventeen. Ha. Eighteen. Ha. Nineteen. Last one. Ha. Twenty. Now slowly come up. Bring your palms to the side. And bring it down by the side of your body. How do you feel? Good? So Lungs cleared. <laughs> yeah. So the tiger claw, uh, make sure you're, you know, it's, sol it's a solid claw. It's not like you're just trying to make a shape. Push out. Yeah. Cool. All right, that's for the lung. Um, the next one is kidney. The other day we did, let's do the same thing we did the other day. Remember? What is pinky? What meridian runs through this? Anyone remember? Small intestine and kidney. Okay. All right, so we're going to bend your, bend your pinky. And these fingers just kind of follow, so you don't have to purposely create a weird shape <laughs> the main goal is to bend this pinky okay now feet about shoulder or hip width apart whichever you're comfortable with and then we're going to bring our hands into this posture take a deep inhale slowly come up to your toes and turn your palms and exhale go down as low as you are comfortable do not stick your butt out Back straight, it's the same as what Jin was teaching the other day. When you come to the bottom, turn your hands. Inhale. And exhale with control, slowly go down. And if you're tight, you can just go as low as you can, okay? Inhale up. And exhale. Tailbow down. Inhale, and exhale. If you can, get into the rhythm. Focus your eyes on a point in front of you. Inhale, and exhale. So again, it's a 70% rule. Your, your arms are not straight, it's bent. So the energy can flow through freely. Inhale up, and exhale. Let's do five more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Inhale. Inhale, slowly, and exhale. Last one. Inhale, and exhale. All the way down if you can. And then slowly come up. Keep your feet flat. Just turn the palms out. And slowly release your arms by the side of your body. Now bring your palms onto your navel. Deep inhale. And exhale through the mouth. <sighs> yeah, so if it's a full practice, I, I kind of close it too. But um, usually what I do is um, there's a few sequences I do just to 
bring myself back to the center and to bring the chi. Mm -hmm. I do the collecting the chi to bring the chi or more chi from the from the nature back to my body, and then I slow it down, and then I bring one palm to my navel, the other palm to the gate of life meridian to settle down the energy. We can do it together. So just breathe into the energy. Breathe into your dantian. Deep inhale, sink the breath all the way down to dantian. And exhale, breathe out slowly and completely. Feel if there's any sensation in your body. And notice the changes in your physical body or maybe your emotions as well. And when you're ready, slowly release your hands to the side of your body.